The Singapore Grand Prix has had many an iconic pole lap. We, of course, on the channel have covered the 2018 pole lap from Lewis Hamilton, link in the top right. But today we go back to 2013, 11 years ago, to Sebastian Vettel's iconic pole position lap, a lap in which it was unseen what he did. In Q3, everybody has two runs or two attempts. Sebastian Vettel did his first lap, setting a new track record and thought, you know what, mate, that's enough. I don't need another lap. His engineer was asking if he wanted to go again. And he was like, you know what? No, I don't think I'm going to improve that lap. And he stayed in the garage and watched Q3 like the rest of us as everyone did their final runs and successfully got pole by a tenth and a half, which isn't a huge margin, but it showed the level of confidence he had in the car and where the limit of the track was that no one would go quicker than him around this track. Now, the pole time is a 1 minute 42.4, so quite a bit slower than what we're used to, especially with the new layout of Singapore, which was now into the 120s, I believe. So this is going to be interesting, but Singapore does have some iconic laps, Seb in 2015, 2017, Lewis in 2018, so on and so forth. But today, 2013 pole lap in the Red Bull, we're driving the racing studio RSS 2013 V8 we're going to see if we can try and beat the lap time. So currently on a default setup, car is stock settings. We're going to try and get a banker on the board. I've got track grip on 95%, so lower than what I'd usually run. So hopefully we get some realistic lap times. If I beat it, then let's just say this track or this car is very quick. Anyway, first lap underway. Accidentally there got uh, my downshift modeled up. But anyway, lap underway. DRS open, we've got Kerr's available. Turn one. Now to third gear for the first corner. Quite a bit of understeer, that's track limits as well. Tires are still pretty much stone cold. A little bit of an early double upshift through turn four, third gear, get the power down, use all the Kerr's pretty much on this straight. I'm gonna dump the majority, we'll save a little bit for the back straight. Now get on the anchors, turn six. Oh, that's very wide. We're going to just have to go slowly over that curb. Turn seven, probably a first gear corner, but we're just trying to build up our confidence at the minute as this car does not feel great on these cold tyres. Little back stretch, and now this was the first year we had this turn 10 where they got rid of the Mickey Mouse chicane, which used to be here. 11, bump over the curb, and now through the Anderson Bridge, back end gets loose. This is first gear territory, the second hairpin. And now we'll use the rest of the curves here. The RS open. On the anchors again. Turn 14. Lock up on the way in. And now we head into a series of chicanes, of course, which, you know, on the current layout, we don't have this anymore, but this is still here. This is where this old 11-year-old car is probably still pretty decent because it weighs so much less than the current F1 cars. It's much more lighter, more nimble and aggressive through these sort of corners. Way big moment. Final corner. Oh, a lot of front wash. DRS and it's a 147.7. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go for a back to back here. I know we've got some tyre temp. I want to see if I can try to go a bit quicker. So let's see what we do on a second attempt. I'm going to also just push the brake bias down a little bit. That's a big lock up there. We're basically tied in the first sector. We're not improving or losing. Wow. Oof. Oof. Note to self, stay off the inside curb of 11. So serious business for attempt number three. Soft tires, or in this case, super soft tires are now on the car. Fuel has been halved or more than halved from 50 to 15 litres, gearbox has been shortened, more wing put on the car and also front ride height has been lowered and also tyre pressures have been tweaked so pretty much a complete overhaul as we get ready for a first proper send. Turn one, this time we stay well within track limits, power down super early there in second gear, hold in third, 
through turn four and now DRS open use a good chunk of the curves through, flat out through five Raffles Boulevard into six bit deep there but we keep it under control probably could have dropped a second seventh corner on the track in second gear quickly to fourth then back down to third oh bit of a wall clip but we'll get away with it turn 10 trying to stay tighter and then note to self don't take too much inside curb through 11 through the anderson bridge into the hairpin back in the bit loose use the rest of the curves just a little slither left which we can use somewhere else 2.2 seconds up right now more time to be found here in this final part of the lap which is where the real mechanical grip is and we're going to find the difference on these tyres a 42 841 to beat car feels lively just like Seb's car oh that's close to the barrier very very close a final chicane Last bit of the curves to get up to speed and now the final corner. Up to the line. And it's over 143.4. 3.3 seconds, so pretty much 1.1 per sector. That puts us in the ballpark. We need to try and find another few tenths. A 42.841 to beat, so just under six tenths. So let's try and aim for a six tenth improvement. We can now go single lap fuel. Might put a touch more wing on, but we're pretty close. Gearbox is on the money. So now we're going to go maximum focus. We are fueled for a single timed lap. Some small adjustments, a bit more front wing. We're going to see if this all pays off. Here we go. Let's get the lap started. Final corner. And now using curves on the exit to get a better top speed over the line. Turn one. Getting the apex, bit of rotation, midway through two. Good exit again there. Downshift warning, gotta be careful. DRS open. Down the back straight, take a breather. Now spot the breaking point. Drops a second. Two turns up in sector one. Holding it in third, not hitting fourth. We stay out the barrier, which is going to help us quite a bit. Using a bit of curves on the way out. Now through turn 10. Hold it. Now 11, dip to second. Carrying some real speed now. Lock up on the way in, but throwing the car in, carrying way more corner speed. Going to drain the curves here. That was a really good middle sector. Up by half a second, 5.7 tenths to be exact. This is going to be close. Now we head for the chicanes. Can we make up any more time? Back end still fighting. Little lock up on the way in there. Stay off that inside curb. Tap of the wall. Little love kiss. Oh, that was close. Final corner. Up to the line. Is it enough? Yes. 142.6. Woo. That was a brilliant final sector. Really nice. What a lap. I'm going to try one more time. Just on my own. Not commentating. I reckon I could probably get that in the mid to... Just under mid 42s. Maybe a high four. Not really any mistakes in the lap. Just very nice. I just I can maybe carry a bit more speed in certain corners. But very, very good. Oh.
Yep. Very nice. There was some small errors, but in other parts of the lap, it's kind of the give and take. A few mistakes at the expense of some very perfect, very nice corners. Sector one was perfection. And then a few other areas, the uh, little kind of Anderson Bridge hairpin combo on the money as well. Sector three, very nice as well. So we'll take it 42-3-3-0. Let's run the replay and the setup. Right, time for setup. Gearbox, I went down on the final gear ratio by a click. Every individual gear is default because the final gear ratio adjustment made it perfect for the track. Tires, I went down on the fronts by one, up on the rears by one, super soft tires for the best lap. Fuel set to seven liters, enough for an outlap and a timed lap. Aero, maximum rear wing and then one click off maximum front, so 1910. Brakes were set to 55.5 on the lap, that's an in-car adjustment because you can't do 0.5s in the setup. Drivetrain default, suspension alignments default, main suspension, I went down the front ride height and the rear ride height, I believe 10 on the rear, 15 on the front to have a bit more rake and then everything else is completely default. And there we have it, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, down below you're gonna have all the links guys in the description as always for the car, the track, the sound mod, deliveries, all that stuff, link down below my filters. You guys can go check it out and try it in your own time at your own pace. But there you go, that was Singapore, Sebastian Vettel's iconic pole lap, a 142.330. We beat it by half a second pretty much, so very nice lap from me, and I'm very happy with that one, guys. So suggestions down below, what do you want to see next in the comments down below? But yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and as always, a big shout out to the members. Check out the links down below of also my channel sponsors and the two videos on screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and let's go back from me.